This will be setup of the Shark IQ robot. Here you have the Shark itself on the left. The first step is actually to, to go into the box and attach those two side sweeps. And then we'll flip this over. The next step is to take our power hub or our charging station and place it where we want it to go. It has to be, it has to have clearance of three feet on either side and five feet in front. The one thing I do like about the charging station here is you'll notice that they actually have a wrap in the back so that you can wrap your cord around to keep it out of the way to cut down on the amount of exposed cordage. Now, if you haven't gotten the idea, I am actually going to be hiding this particular robot under my dresser here. So what we're gonna do now is take and get this situated before we take and place this on the charger because the next step is to charge for six hours for its first charge, making sure that you actually do turn the robot on before you set it up to charge. So we're gonna get the charging station set up first and then come back. The next part of installation is to use that QR code there to download the application. So that is what we're going to do. And we are going to install the app from Google Play. Once installed, we go through the setup process. So we're going to say, yes, United States. You'll have terms and condition, privacy, help improve shark experience. Uh, I'm going to say, I have to agree to everything, but I'm not going to share my experience. And now we have to create an account. As per the norm, you go through an account confirmation process and we're just gonna hit okay. And we just have to resubmit our information. And now that we have our account set up, we're gonna get started, so. Here we go. It says you have to attach your brushes. We already did that. It's powered on, it's charging. Now what we're gonna do is prepare to connect to our 2.4 gigahertz spectrum Wi-Fi, and I'm just going to attach this to my IoT devices. So we're gonna hit next. So this is gonna be interesting. It wants us to hit the two top buttons in order to connect this. And right now it's charging under there. So we're gonna hit continue and see what it does. Oh, see, I'm already charging it, but it wants me to try and press those two buttons. So we're gonna drag it out from under there and try setting up the Wi-Fi. As per directed, we are going to press and hold. Please move me to a level surface. Error number 10. <laughs> we're gonna try and push and hold both these buttons. I am ready to connect to Wi-Fi. There we go. Ready to connect to Wi-Fi, so we're going to go back into our application. So we are getting the fact that we're ready for Wi-Fi. If we hit continue, it's kind of just walking us through the process that we've already done. And it says that green light will change from green to blue when properly aligned. So I'm guessing I have to shove this back under there while it's prepared for Wi-Fi. So let's go do that. All right, so I've got it under there. It's blue now. Let's see what we got. All right, so I'm gonna hit continue and it should prompt me for the Wi-Fi. All right, so it wants location access. Which I have to say allow, and I will indicate only while using the app. It's showing my shark and serial number. I'm gonna say yes, because that's the only one around, confirm. Now it's broadcasting. So we're gonna have to click on, gonna have to click on the shark IP address and have it connect, have the phone connect directly to the shark. Slightly off camera. Then we're going to select our IoT network and we have to put in my password, so one moment. And now, we bring that back into focus. That should be it connecting to my IoT network. And I should have a decent connection signal up here uh, considering the Wi-Fi router that I have, link in the corner for a review of that. So hopefully the Wi-Fi antenna in this little guy here is enough to pick up the uh, Wi-Fi signal that I am currently broadcasting. Cause it's, this can take, okay, so this might take a little bit of time. Um, so I won't make you sit through this entire process. We'll see how long this takes. And what do we want to call our shark? I'm going to be, be very original and just call it shark. It will build a map, which is nice. Uh, and it says, let's get started. Help shark by cleaning a path. Now it said it needed to charge initially six hours before actually doing this. 
So we're probably not going to let it do what it wants to do because it still needs to charge six hours. So I'm just gonna hit, let's get started. So it is shark is ready to start cleaning, turn on lights, open doors, clear obstacles, avoid moving the shark, and it will take multiple runs to create. We're going to say X this off for now, which it won't let me do. But if I go check, 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 it's gonna say, let's start cleaning. We're not going to do that and come back to it later. Hopefully this counts as the setup process. If I hit back here, 